Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So I've been throwing a number of tips and tricks out lately and something that I wanted to do in my sequencing today uh, got me to thinking I'd really like to be able to draw a specific shape or a specific uh, line pattern and uh, I bet there is a tool here in Xlights that could help me with this. Uh, if only everybody knew more about this tool. Well, there is such a tool that can help you physically draw in X lights onto a matrix and or any whole house pattern, anything. Um, but it takes a little bit of understanding how to get there. So first what I'm going to do is I, I've created, uh, this is um, what this is. I just cleared everything off the screen there. What you see in front of you, this is uh, Microsoft OneNote. It's a uh, it's a note taking program, and I keep my uh, I keep my yearly shows, everything I do for uh, um, all of my uh, light shows from 2013 when I started, and the things that I wanted to do. Here's all my notes from the past, you know, six years and so forth. So what I was doing was I was uh, I was going through, and I learned that in any of the office suites, you can come up here to the draw file menu and you can use these different boxes you can insert these shapes you can do this in microsoft excel you can do this in word this is also a functionality that is available in another program that i've talked about in the past which is called LibreOffice. now if you know how to draw and you don't need my help uh you certainly don't need to have this program to do it so there are other ways to draw i'm just using this tool that i already know to show you how you can do it if you own these tools as well so what you see here is I just created a couple shapes. I took the rectangle shape here and I clicked and dragged out over, over that period area. And then I made this nice thick border on them. And then I've made two shapes. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to take an effect and I'd like to run the effect up my mega tree, up, up, up just like this or reverse the path and have it go down. Um, and then I also wanted an effect where I could trace the effect to go around and do like a figure eight. And I thought, well, there's two ovals make that shape. Now that I've got this shape in this image, I'm going to introduce you to another program. And that is called uh, snipping tool. Now this is over here and you can see I've already done this. So what snipping tool is, is snipping tool allows you to take a screenshot and make a photo of whatever it is on your screen that you'd like to make a photo of. So, I, you just uh, go into Windows here. You can type snipping tool. And once you do, it brings up, the, you can click on snipping tool and it opens up your screen. So now I click new and it actually kind of looks like this. Actually, snipping tool is going to get an up update pretty soon. And you see how it's kind of grayed out. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am just going to use the crosshairs and go right to the corner of my image here. And then I'm going to click and drag to there. And now we have a functionality. See, you can actually draw with this. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this snipping tool as a specific um, uh, uh, shape or as a specific image. We're going to call this um, zip, zigzag. Now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to click new. And I am going to do the same thing here. Click and drag. I'm just getting the outline. And now I'm going to save this one as figure eight or infinity. So now I have physically created, I'll go ahead and close these out here. I'll get this off the screen and let's bring up X lights. And we're going to show you a new tool that you may or may not have heard of. This is the uh, 2D path editor. We'll go to tools here in Xlights and we're going to generate 2D path. Now this is something that possibly many of you have never seen. But what you see here is you have a physical start point and you have a physical end point. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna browse uh, in our folder for, uh, let's see, the website, uh, website images. Here we go. And we have our uh, zigzag, which I've already done this. And uh, let's do the infinity one first. So what you see here is I have imported this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this as my start point and I'm going to place it right down here in the bottom. You can feel free to place it wherever you like. But what I have here is I physically have a shape 
that I can outline and I can trace a path to in order for me to create. And I'm just double clicking right on the edge of the image. And all I'm doing is just tracing this path. Now, this is obviously a little boring to watch somebody draw it out, but this is creating for me what this uh, editor does, this 2D path generator. This creates a value curve for both the X and Y axes, and you can then make some pretty cool effects in X lights using this 2D editor. So you'll have two physical, two different physical and and it'll be interesting whenever you see the value curves that are created if you're used to using value curves this is the longer of the two that's for sure and we'll just stop right there that should do and what we'll do is after this is done we're going to click generate now it's going to pop up this dialog and we're going to call this figure eight or infinity and we're going to save it. Now, once we're done with this, we're done. We don't need that, that uh, editor anymore. Now, we're gonna show you the next thing, which is pretty cool, which is the tendril effect. So if you haven't used the tendril effect, the tendril effect actually lets you create a manual drawing path that you can use and you can see Tendril kind of does its own kind of thing because it has these random movements. So what's actually going on in Tendril is it has these different vertical horizontal, or actually the horizontal offsets are set to zero and the vertical offset. So it's we're right at zero right here. But what is truly going on is the manual X and the manual Y are randomly changing. And you see that by these value curves being grayed out. You can't change these whenever you're set to random. What we're going to do is we're going to set these to manual. And watch how easy it is to create this little figure eight. So if I click the value curve, that's the value curve on the manual X, and I go over here to the screen here where it says load. If I click on load, now I'm going to look for my infinity. And you'll notice I have two physical infinity files. One's an X, one's a Y. So we're working with the X side. We're working on the X. We'll go ahead and select the infinity X. And this is the path that it actually created for us. Okay, does that look like anything that might be familiar down here? Um, and we'll go ahead and click OK. And then we'll go to the Y and we'll do the same thing. We'll click Y, we'll click load, and we will find our infinity Y value curve. And then we'll click OK. Now watch our model preview here as I click the OK button. And check out just how cool that looks to have that figure eight kind of drawn out. Now what's neat is, and I know this is, a, this is on a mega tree, and what's neat about this, we can actually make this a little thicker and we can take some of the friction away. I believe that makes it a little bit less movie. And it holds the shape for us. And you can see now that we have this interesting infinity effect that will kind of flow right along with your song if this is kind of the look that you're going for. So uh, the same thing is true. And I've already I've already done trace the path out. And But I'll, I'll show you the import. If we go ahead and we add the tendril effect back in here. You can see um, you can see that we have uh, the timing marks here one two three four and that's what this other zigzag line was that we were using. So if we click the arrow over and we load, I already traced the path of the zigzag, the X. I'll go ahead and select it, and then click OK, and then we'll click we'll click on the Y, load the Y zigzag. And you can see, click OK on that, and now you can see we've created the exact same zigzag pattern by doing the same thing when we opened up the tools and we hit the Generate 2D Path. All I did, I did this ahead of time so that you didn't have to watch me do it a second time, but I did go into my website image here and I grabbed the zigzag and I just followed the path. I started with the blue one here and I ended and I double clicked at every point here and that's how I generated. I clicked, 
uh, generate and then close and um, uh, yes I'm sure and then it generated those value curves for me so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I, I want to take a second to thank you very much for checking us out here on our YouTube channel first of all if you like today's video please click that like button and also please hit the subscribe button so that we can bring more great information to you concerning the X lights program and the RGB world Thank you very much for joining us, folks. Visit us at ppdpixelprodisplays.com. Join the Sequence Club and get one free sequence each month included with your membership, along with a number of other benefits from our vendor uh, affiliates, as well as some preset effects, some of which may be very interesting, like these that you see. Thank you. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And